Welcome to the March 4th, 2024 advanced report for McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. Title of this week's program, Unique Abilities, and I'm going to teach you some of the unique abilities that led to record profits. This week, we're going to start with the inflation report. And the inflation report, this is your general trend on inflation. The big peak, 9% year-over-year inflation, now just 2.4%. That continues to trend in the right direction. It means the Federal Reserve is not the most important headline anymore. Uh, whether it's a little more or less than expected and whether it hits there too, no longer important, their projections are they're going to cut rates later this year. Let's go to the impact of this reversal because the Fed didn't go down yet, but the gains are being made now. What unique ability did it take to be enjoying the gains that have happened since October? Let's look at this. This is the Dow. This is two years in the desert and we covered that. This is the breakout above the two years in the desert. Think of the unique abilities that were required to be investing or reinvesting right here and last October. This was the misery of 2022, the October low in the Dow, 29,000. Now it's 39. Wow, coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? You gotta have a process in place. I am Spencer McGowan, President, McGowan Group Wealth Management. We're a team of 10, the team that cares, and I'm also your financial weatherman bringing you the reports each and every week. And if you had been a subscriber, you would know what we were saying right here based on real research into great assets because we always tell you what we're doing. We're not always 100% correct, but we're always going to be forthright on what our research tells us. And accumulating great assets, especially at these flashpoints, is the focus of YouTube McGowan Group. And if you want the longer program on Apple Podcasts, go Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and it'll come right up for you. It's good to subscribe there too, because you can listen anytime, there's no commercials, and it's the extended program with Alex Toline, the co-host, and he's pretty funny sometimes, so I think you'll enjoy that. Anyway, let's look at that. Now, this was the total return over this time period is 12%. That's actually not that great for two years and something. That's about 6% or so on average. But to improve the returns, you really had to have cash flow from dividends and interest and some tactical safety that you could reinvest as we had the miserable Fed tightening cycle, which decreases the value of investment assets. This is pretty strong right here, strong decline. Look, that's a 34% decline in the NASDAQ 100. That's where all the tech stocks are. Magnificent seven are in there. And boom, 34%. And it was very difficult at that time to be bullish. Our team members know, especially the investment committee, that it was very difficult to have the courage. You had to have a unique ability to say, these are category killers. This is where we want to be. And there's the October correction and took off like a scalded rabbit, mainly because one, earnings are good. And I'll show you that at the end. But this time period, you really had to have a unique ability to stay committed to great assets through the two years in the desert. Now we'll look at some high points year to date. Uh, medical dividend stocks, this is one of them. Uh, they've taken off. Merck and AbbVie have done extremely well. Here, this is nuclear. And you can see the explosion right here of, of our nuclear candidate. They actually build the uh, small modular reactors for the nuclear submarines. What does that mean? They know how to do it safely and they have the inside track for regulatory approval on the small modular reactors. And now that nuclear is carbon free, everybody says, okay, we, we need more of that. Here, this is Diamondback. Midland-based Diamondback Energy made a great acquisition. And 
Everybody loved it. It's the first time that a company involved in an acquisition, either a buyer or a seller, but in this case a buyer, has really popped and they're up nearly 20% for the year. That's a wow. Microsoft, and they really were the original AI that was commercially viable and they just announced a new partnership. Uh, so that's one of the better ways to play it. Obviously people are chasing NVIDIA and you want to be careful with this category. We've already pulled some profits off the table on this one. Super Micro, we, pulled, we, we, we did so well. They make the circuit boards and the server room components. Um, we did so well, we took part of that profit off the table. It won't always be this good, so we're going to start to build some tactical safety. Is this rally justified? All right, you've got the Federal Reserve no longer raising rates. Their own projections say they're going to lower rates. That increases the net present value of future earnings. How are future earnings doing? Now that the S&P 500 has essentially reported, 8% is the earnings growth, the current earnings growth. That's accelerating and that's good news for the potential future values. It'll get built in pretty quick this year if the Federal Reserve reverses and we may be selling into that rally automatically at McGowan Group Wealth Management, harvesting profits at the flash points of good gains to rebuild tactical safety in our fiduciary registered investment advisor managed accounts. You can contact us at networthradio.com. We look forward to serving you and your family right here from the Crescent in Dallas. You would like. Thank you for tuning in today to Net Worth Media. We also have Apple Podcasts. Simply type in Net Worth Radio and boom, it'll hit your phone right then. If you also go to networthradio.com on a browser, you're going to be able to meet the team. You can see our performance track record, the model portfolios that go with today's broadcast. Also at networthradio.com, the longer play podcast is available there as well. We're grateful that you've tuned in. Remember, when we talk about a security, it doesn't make it a recommendation for your portfolio until we actually complete a written plan for you by Zoom or in office or simply a, a conference call. So you reach us at networthradio.com if you want to get that arranged. Market fluctuations and how to handle them. We build high cash flow portfolios and Past performance doesn't guarantee future results, so you do have to be ready for challenging markets. We can build more cash flow during challenging markets than we can when everybody's happy and everything's up, which is when we tend to raise tactical safety. Those allocation strategies are here at NetWorthRadio.com. Thank you for tuning in.